I like a high N and high arch. I went to school, I promise I know how to speak English. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Really quickly, I wanted to show you how I do my eyebrows. And today I'm just using one product and it is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. This is in the color Blackest Brown. It is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz dupe. I was previously using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and the Brow Wiz together but I'm switching to just one product now. So before I received the LA Girl Cosmetics Brow Pencil, I was only using Brow Wiz. And this is like super cheap. Just gonna type this into Google. LA Girl Slim Shady Brow Pencil. Slim Shady, Shady Slim, same difference. <laughs> so, ooh, what? Okay, on the LA Girl website, this is only $6. Why was I paying like 20 bucks for brow wigs again? So this will be my second time using this. I used this previously for a look, which I did not film for YouTube. And I was shocked at how good it worked. Cause it's, it's comparable to Brow Wiz. Let me just put it that way. I'm not counting the concealer that I use to clean up as a product because cleaning up with concealer is optional. I'm just showing y'all how to get an eyebrow shape or how to get, how to get brows that kind of look like the ones that I have, not these ones. These are not optimal, but you know. But really quick about my brows. Naturally, I do not have much of a brow shape that I feel is satisfactory to me. I like, I, I like a high N and high arch. <sighs> I went to school, I promise I know how to speak English. I desire a high arch, but I do not have one naturally. So I do wax slash tweeze slash nair the hairs that are kind of like, you know, instead of, I get, oh, pew. like my little sound effects. <laughs> I put my foundation on first before I do my brows. That's just how I am. This is just how I do my makeup. This color blackest brown is a little dark. I always use my other brow brush, but we would try this one for now. See how it's walking. Is I'm going to start off just with some light strokes first. So, and I'm okay if I make mistakes because I know I will be cleaning, cleaning this up with some concealer. So I'm not too worried. And yes, I know I look shiny and that's because I have not set my foundation yet. So I'm just going with light strokes. And it's also important, like the way you hold the pencil. So here I'm gonna create a bit more of an arch. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. Still with light to medium strokes. And I'm not quite done yet. I do want to kind of fill in the areas here. So I'm using very, very, very light strokes. The pencil is barely touching my skin at this point towards the front of the brow. So it's like extremely light strokes. And the reason I do this is because I don't want my brows to just be boxed. I don't like when you have like skin and then the sharp start to the brow where it's just boom, color, here I am. No, I want it to be a gradual onset to mimic um, light hairs. I say mimic because it's not gonna look exactly like hair, but we gonna fake it till we make it. And the way my brows naturally grow, they don't grow in this kind of shape. They just kind of grow like all over the place and especially are very sparse towards the ends of the brow. So I am okay with tweezing and waxing and nairing until, you know, God calls me home because my brows don't grow in a uniform pattern and they don't grow like enough to make, sh and they don't grow enough in an even distribution pattern for me to be able to say, well, oh, I'm gonna let them grow out and then I'm gonna make a shape. No, mm -mm, that's not happening with me. I've tried, I've tried, I know, I've tried. I've tried, don't try to convince me otherwise. I know my brows, okay? I waxed some sparse hairs that were kind of all over the place yesterday and um, so I'm looking like uh, my brow needs a revival, but it's okay, we gonna revive it with this. 
So this is the brow that kind of bothers me the most, this one here, because it just likes to act up. It's the stubborn child of the twins. A lot of people, and I notice this a lot with a lot of Nigerian makeup artists, I'm sorry y'all, I love y'all, but I'm sorry, I, I have to say this. <sighs> when their brows start a lot of times, the brows that they create, it looks like you see, you see a straight horizontal line and then the line like comes up and then creates like and then an arch gets created I, I, I don't get it like I don't I don't get it like it, why why do you need to have a I mean hey at the end of the day do what you want but I like for the brow to kind of start off to have a shape like this where it's just like it just it just falls you know it just and it lands I'm not making no type of sense anymore. I'm not making any sense at all. I'm so sorry, guys. I want the line to kind of be further down and then work its way up, create its arch, and then fall. Always step back and take a look at them. I have noticed whenever I'm doing my brows up close and then I, you know, I'm, I think I'm done, I think they look fleeky or whatever, and I step back and take a look at my face and I notice one brow is a little higher than the other or one is a little different shape than the other. So always throughout the entire process, no matter what you do, take a step back away from your mirror and look at your entire face and see how symmetrical it is. Constantly taking a look like, okay. Mm. So from what I can see right here as I'm looking at this mirror right now, this brow arch is a little bit up high compared to this one. So I'm gonna see if I can fix that. If not, it's not that big of a deal because it's a very, very small change. Let me see if you guys can notice it. Yeah. So this, you see how this arch is, is higher? And this brow's actually a little thicker as well. That's what I mean. Always take a step back to look at your brows to make sure that they look like they belong together. So to fix that, I'm actually going to draw more onto this brow on the lower aspect of it because when I go in to clean up my concealer, that's when I can really define my shape to somewhat match this brow, if I'm making sense. You guys will see. So I'm actually drawing the brow lower, which in turn is making it look thicker. But when I go in to um, add in my concealer and correct it, then I, that, that'll help me to define the brow shape some more. So it looks like, I know this one is huge. So it looks like the arches are starting to kind of match up to the same height. So another thing really quick that I want you guys to be aware of, a lot of times in these tutorials, especially like full face tutorials, you don't see a lot of the correction of mistakes that occurs. And I want you guys to really be aware of that. It takes time to master your brows. It takes time to um, know what kind of brow shape would complement your face because not every brow shape will complement everyone's face. It isn't always the like common or trendy brow shape that will complement um, your face. Just know your face, know your features. Brows do not take me a short period of time at all. At all, not at all. Like it does not take me a short period of time. It takes me a long time to do my brows. And I think part of that also has to do with the fact that I don't really have much of a brow to begin with. So I really have to be careful with how exactly I'm drawing it on to make sure that I look like a human being. This is my MAC 195 brush. This is the original packaging for the Black Opal Flawless Concealer. I like to start from the beginning. I pull the product down and sometimes it'll get to your eye and that's okay. And so the reason I'm pulling this down is to ensure that I don't really have any like harsh lines. Without taking any more product onto my brush, I now work my way to the very top of the brow. 
same thing working in sections. Oop, okay, so I made a mistake there. I'll show you guys in a little bit. And then same thing, pull up and away from the brow because we really do not want halo brows. And I'll show you guys my trick that I've been doing for years to prevent halo brows. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna add a little bit more of the uh, brow pencil up here at the top where it kind of looks like it's a little slumped down. So let me show you guys really quick how I get rid of halo brows. So this is my foundation brush that I use to apply my foundation. I found this trick out years ago when the brush that I usually use to blend out my concealer around my brows was um, broken. So I just grab my foundation brush. I don't clean it or anything. It already has my um, foundation on it from me using it. And what I do is I use this to clean up the brows instead. And what I've noticed is that one, it ends up with a much more blended product and two, it tones down the color, but at the same time still makes sure that the brow pops. So this is what I like to use. So this is my foundation brush with my foundation still on it. And I'm just kind of in sweeping motion. So I'm going up as well and then just working my way around and blending it out, usually in swiping motions. So I lift this up to make sure that it's not, the, none of the product skips. And then just do the same thing. So I want this to go up a little higher. Same thing, just doing this in sections. And this brow is actually a a lot longer and it's going the tail is going down a lot um, lower than the other side so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna erase this boom Dunzo. When I blend out my brows, I do the top first because that is the place you want the most blendation. <laughs> That's the place that you want the product to look less visible. And by product, I mean the concealer that you use to clean up. I added a little bit more of the brow pencil up here to kind of match the arch on this side. And I think so far they're not too bad. Um, they're not exact, but for the purposes of this video, I don't want it to be any longer than what it is right now. So I'm probably going to end it here. So uh, these are the finished brows and the finished face. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this eyebrow tutorial and I hope that you learn something from it or you know can apply certain aspects of it for your brows because as I say everyone's brows are different everyone's features are different so we're all gonna have different ways and different preferences on what kind of brow oh. I just got done filming this look as well so go ahead and check it out and I hope to see you guys in the next video Lord willing stay blessed bye